<laughs> oh, shoot. Ready? Yes. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Who? Chaudhry? <laughs> 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 this is good here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Sunshine Stitchers. That's EJ. No, I'm Gary. Gary. <laughs> EJ's over there. <laughs> Shelia. <laughs> With what's left of this my, is my hearing. second cup of coffee. Is that what it is? Oh my God. It's got like four shots of espresso they put in there. Well, and I had my other coffee, which is like, like 10 shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, seatbelt day, folks. He's excited. He is excited. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. We are a channel about cross-stitch. Uh, and uh, we are coming to you from sunny, gorgeous weather. Oh, gosh, yes. We don't have any humidity, no rain. The sun is out. The little puffy white clouds are just yes. like it's beautiful really nice, really and the gorgeous. only snowflakes are on cross stitch patterns that's right that's right what did he say the only snowflakes are on cross stitch patterns i had to interpret <laughs> is that not what i said you did okay it was fast though it was oh, fast i had to get in there so one of the so, first things we do every video is to thank you for watching thank you thank you for, for making this decision to check us out yes if you are new to our channel, we hope you uh, stay with us and, and watch again. Oh, but wait, don't we have something important to say? This oh, is, the disclaimer. This is, this is a not repeat video. Oh, that's right. <laughs> what happened last week, Shelia? So let me explain what happened with episode 160. Several folks who have notifications set received a notification in the middle of Saturday afternoon last week that... Video stitch. Yeah, video. And then there was all the consternation because didn't we see this before? Is this deja vu? Is this the second Mother Moon? EJ did two. Yeah. <laughs> done. Yes. She had an encore. <laughs> Our video process consists of us filming on my Surface computer and and recording it and and storing it uh, on the Surface computer. Then I uploaded and it's a raw version, private uh, copy to YouTube. Then Gary or EJ, depending upon who's editing that week, mm -hmm. downloads the video to their Apple product and then edits it and then reloads the final to YouTube. And that's what you see. I come along the next week when I'm uploading the private raw version and delete the previous week's Raw video. <laughs> the it says R A W, <laughs> all caps. Yeah. All cap. I all mean, caps. I you know, I you know, I make it big, all capitals raw. So I, you know what? I think it might be your surface. It, you might have clicked on the right thing. Your surface just got like sometimes, yeah, because I, I it's um <laughs> touch screen, and so sometimes, yeah, it, it's not. You need a stylus. Not well. I have a mouse. I always bring a mouse, but you know, whatever. I bet. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but that particular episode, we had technical issues because every now and then Zoom and the camera on my surface decide they have a fight and they stop speaking to each other. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we I lose um, video. So that happened in the middle of our recording of episode 160. And so I had to shut down, come back on, blah, blah, blah. So we had a 160A raw and a 160B raw. We had a 160 live. Live. <laughs> Not private. Right. Keyword be private. And now this is where Gary shows up. <laughs> Gary is sitting exactly where he is now. And it's just the two of us. Ronnie is off doing his thing. And the two of us are just talking back and forth, you know, and, and I'm doing my little thing with the video and I somehow deleted the good 160 episode. And I was so, trying to- So wait, why did you throw Gary into this story? Because you were, <laughs> were sitting here. You were disturbing her, Gary. We're talking to Oh, okay. Yes. 
You're disturbing her. The product today. <laughs> okay. See? See? That's like three drinks right now. Man, this would be a great drink. Drink. Okay. That's three drinks. So that is the story behind the uh second appearance of episode 160 but we did get a lot of new new watchers on that video we did, too, so we did. i'm glad you got to watch it yeah it was it was confusing i didn't realize that it would generate a notification yeah. we just wanted to make sure that our library i guess or yeah. whatever was, was consistent yeah. that all of a sudden there would be a gap between 159 and 160 well, and it also it moved it up <laughs> It did. It's like I'm like, well, how do I get it back where it's supposed to be? Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> so, so yeah. So later in the day, as normal, episode 162 became available, and all was right again in the world of the Sunshine Stitchers. So now, in five years, <laughs> we look at the history. We're like, why is 160 up here? Yeah, and not yeah. in a, we <laughs> won't know why. We won't know why. This will all, you know. <laughs> No, it'd be like when Gary messed up. Like Gary messed that up, didn't he? <laughs> no, now, that's my history. That's my. <laughs> so we lost, and we also lost all the great comments from the original. Yeah, episode. we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is a real sad part because um, I, we, I, my notes. I mean, we had. Well, quite, you have the highlights. Oh, yeah. yeah, we need to. Yeah. No. Yeah. Her notes was a thing. Oh, yeah, National the treasure. One with the hanger. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> hanger. That's right. It had an encore. The hanger, hanger had, had, had an course, encore. It would have to be the hanger one, right? <laughs> okay, so when you delete it, it says, do you want to delete it permanently? You said yes, right? Yes. It, it, it says, it, do you want to delete it forever? Forever. It says forever. So where did you find it to return it? Where did you find it? I had to re-upload from, from, from his, the Mac, yeah, like a new video. His... Oh, because you edited that one, right? Yeah. Got you. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay. Gone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah so all right that was a long explanation but now everybody knows all the ins and yeah. outs of what happened with episode 160 why it showed up in the middle of saturday <laughs> afternoon and uh your patience is appreciated <laughs> so but for our comments from uh this last week we've had several um all related to gary's blushing that totally was the I need more concealer. <laughs> I don't think you can hide that. <laughs> no, there's no that is not enough concealer. No, not at all. Uh Jenny B I felt like I was set up. <laughs> you were the one who asked. I know. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Look, I, I I just, you know, I'm like, oh, you okay, you want it off? Okay, I got you. No problem. <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little speechless, like, <laughs> what? But you know what the piece looks like? Yes. You have to fill it in with color sometimes. Yeah. I, I did not really, I really, I didn't think in my brain what was the thing going to be there. I'm like, why would you put it on top of the stitching? I, just... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yes. So, and Ginny B and Minnie All X's. Uh, want to know if there's a fabric in Gary's blush red? Mm -hmm. Somebody to dye and nice. My tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Melba B suggested that we have a new rating, you know, like the MPAA, the movie rating. Mm -hmm. um, RG, red Gary. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah we had gary blushing moments two weeks in a row okay so i need that we need to create an rg rating rg rating <laughs> uh elaine h be, uh, told us that the what we were looking at <laughs> is called the gluteal fold G oh, yeah. <laughs> gluteal fold oh there's a there's a name for that yeah i thought it was a gluteus maximus well, that was the fold. That's the actual butt. I, oh. I think the, the curve. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the gluteal. I did not know that. I didn't know there was a word. Yeah, I see, now you can throw that around. There you go. <clears throat> really gluteal sound. fold. Yeah. You can gluteal name, fold. You can name that pattern whenever you uh, are in mixed company. <laughs> <laughs> gluteal fold. Okay. Yes. yes. I didn't know that. For those, for those of you who 
has not watched our last week's video, hopefully you'll see it again later on. Hopefully we'll get some more stitching on it. So we will point out the gluteal well, maybe fold. Maybe it'll be finished. Uh, no, there's a lot of stitching left on that. Oh. Um, <laughs> Somebody said that needs to be the new drinking game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, stabbing the fabric has a question. The number for the Glendon Place Nativity. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that what she meant by that? Yeah. Right it has a, it always has a number gp 132 yep oh, okay okay and i have those on order okay reorder okay interesting thing i order them from north florida right mm -hmm. and and cheryl i ordered them directly and cheryl's very quick she's mm -hmm. like me she's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you know 11 o'clock at night we're shipping both mm -hmm. of us mm -hmm. so my package went from florida mm -hmm. to new orleans <laughs> Thank you, post office. So I'm expecting it today. Okay. But it got to go to New Orleans oh, wow. for Thanksgiving. There you go. <laughs> and I'm here in Florida. So I'm like, F L L A. Don't get it. Why did it yeah. leave? <laughs> Interesting. So so uh we got that straightened out. <laughs> and thank you for all of the all of you who were also waiting for your issue of punch yes. primitive stitching. So I was not alone. And I'm glad that you all did comment because now I don't feel that I'm definitely like the, the end of the list. Mm -hmm. well, did you get was, yours? Yes, I got mine. Yeah. Well, it, it does make sense now when someone said you can prepay for higher price shipping. Yes. Why some people out of the alphabetical yes. order gets yeah. it before because yeah. I would ship alphabetical. If I had a massive list, I would yeah. just plug it in and let the computer ship it. Yeah, yeah. And so why would someone from Z be first? Because well, there they is pay an priority option. shipping. Yeah, yeah, there is an option to pay for priority shipping. But why? It's a magazine. <clears throat> just yeah. wait for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and so, but what happens, particularly because this is one of those that I devour every single page, including mm -hmm. the punch needle. And I don't do punch needle, but the the pictures the charts well it's not really a chart, the pictures, gorgeous yeah the yeah. projects oh. and and as people start to show it i really get eager to have it to mm -hmm. see it and oh, it's really so. quality paper too it's oh it's great, wonderful great this particular yeah. issue i every single did you bring it no every single i guess i can't look through it oh I'll, I'll bring it next week oh, you, she'll look through it for me is what she said <laughs> That's like, oh, Gary would like this one. Gary. <laughs> oh, Gary would like this one. <laughs> the, ev this it, do I say, issue. oh, Shelia? <laughs> <laughs> we forgot about that comment. That's true. That's she, didn't say, she didn't mention that at all. So she I, went from a verb to a four letter word. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, hey. I know. did a Shelia. Oh, Shelia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, so again, thank you very much for your comments. We, we continue to enjoy them and and enjoy your appreciation of, of what we do and what we bring to to the table every week. So thank and we, you. we hope everyone had a great safe Thanksgiving. Yes, I forgot. Yes. Do you celebrate? Yes. yes. I'm still digesting. It's eating holiday. It is. It is. <laughs> eating all holidays are and eating. football oh yeah all holidays are eating holidays yeah but thanksgiving in particular but also football on thanks and parade it was nice to see the thanksgiving parade mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. so it was, well, we oh my nieces first. were so what, one of excited our excited to see the parade in, in the facebook group in our facebook group she was live at macy's and she sent us a picture Oh, it's first time ever. She had her blast. <laughs> nice. oh, man. <laughs> it's a cold. It was a cold day. That is not that is nowhere I want to be. All those it's cold. It was, cold. didn't seem too like many it, people. I don't know from where she was standing. Oh, okay. So that, right. that I sh that is a nice experience. Yeah. It is a nice experience. I lived in Manhattan for either 12 or 14 years. I can't, I'm not going to do the math right now, but I, a couple of times I went around to the beginning point to watch everything as it was sort of getting ready and mm -hmm. it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All righty. So Gary, do you have any finishes? 
No. No. Okay. What about EJ? You forgot EJ. She's first. EJ. You assumed she wouldn't have any finishes. I know. Wait oh, a minute. Oh. Okay. Do you have any finishes? Uh, no. Okay. But you know, right. there you go. Yes. <laughs> so, Sheila, do you have any finishes? No. No, no, no. So, okay, <laughs> Gary, do you Someone have- had too many turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Have any starts? Yes, I do. Ooh. I started a turkey day start. Okay. And one would have thought that it would be done by now, but um, I had issues. I started uh, <laughs> Let Us Be Thankful. Oh, that's a Ben Creek. Yeah, because it had two. Yeah, little... I love Ben Creek. Yeah. Oh, it's only like six, seven, eight colors or something like that. Right? Oh, you know, and very I, nice. And I had them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go figure. So it's, it's, um, oh, I forgot the name of the fabric. Um, it's dirt. Uh, it's seraphin mm -hmm. 36 count mm -hmm. and i got b <laughs> <laughs> the thing is the e mm -hmm. i ripped up and did three times oh my goodness so i started it with one thread mm -hmm. and i didn't like it so i said i'll just do like a shelia mm -hmm. i'll do i got my needle threaded with one thread so i'll just do it mm -hmm. twice do mm -hmm. it twice do mm -hmm. it twice do it twice and when i got all the way down this leg right here was too short. <laughs> so I ripped it all out, you know, doing the double stitch. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. So it wasn't, and then um, I put the B in and I realized the whole thing was over too much. And so I took it out and moved it over. But when I moved it over, I moved it down. <laughs> so then I did it again. So three times I ripped out the E. Oh, wow. So. I got Thanksgiving B. B. <laughs> so just B. I'm not thankful yet. <laughs> so it was fun. I think it's 30, 30 road, 36 count, 30, 30 okay. road from Seraphim. All right. So it's a really nice color. And the fabric, the flosses looked really great on this fabric. Yeah. Yeah. So are those over dyes? Yes. Uh, General arts. General arts, over dyes. Okay. Yeah. So All right. What does it say? B? It says B ye thankful. Oh, what does it say? It says, let us be thankful. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Not you tried it in the middle. Oh, actually, it's all weeks. Dye works. There's one gentle arts, okay. the little viney thing. Okay. I start in the middle. Yeah. 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 And I was using a baby, baby Q snap, uh, a six by eight. Oh, my goodness. Because it was only eight inches. Yeah, it's not that high. And it was high enough for my full. I said, why did I just not, why did I cut the fabric? I should have just. <laughs> stitching so that was my start that was start. So i'm like cramping all in this little thing and then i'm ripping and ripping and stitching and stitching and I'm like Where am I? don't you have roller frames roller frames go up and down would i turn it that yeah would be, you, that you would be more complicated yeah. for me yeah you could do you it you know i'm i'm directionally challenged so i yeah. would be like i would end up stitching. So, like okay. i did like you have this whole space there but you're still working on this no, 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 no. The pattern, the fabric goes this way. Oh, so you just stitch like this? Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that would go like one rotation. I'd rotate it up and then I'd flip the, the, the roller from the other way and keep stitching. And I'm like, um, where'd that go? Yeah. I, yeah. That sounds like a big Gary mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stick with my baby Q snap. All right. So, EJ, let's see your whips. So, I first okay, so I went out of town and I had uh, I need to do fill in. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I picked up my favorite piece there for filling. Mother Moon. There you go. No, look at that. Harder know, Daddy. Isn't that great. Look at that. <laughs> wow, you did yeah. a lot of work. That's great. This is the gl the gluteal fold. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you call this? Crack. <laughs> I have no idea. It's Isn't not... that a medical term? <laughs> It's not filled in yet. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, all the black. You're supposed to do all the black on the top. Oh, <laughs> it'll come soon. Come. Yeah, it'll soon come. Uh, so yes, so I did a little bit of here mm -hmm. in the airplane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then here at the house, I finished the the fold at the house, mm -hmm. and then I and I worked on this as well. Okay, mm -hmm. that. That's the leg part. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this is 
Okay. Coming along. Right, and, and this is on 32. Wait, hold on. 32 count dapple. And I'm stitching it on with two strands. Yes. And it's tight. Picture <laughs> this plus map. Yeah. Tight. tight. Yeah. And that's Ezo Studios. Yes. Yeah. And this, it's on uh, Etsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 32 count. Yeah. Apple. yeah. 32 count. That's a nice gray. Yes, 32 count. It's a nice gray. And I chose gray. There's a reason why I chose gray. Well, that's with Mother Moon because she's on gray too. So you got two. No, it has to do with Christian gray, 50 shades of gray. Get it? No. <laughs> Who's Christian? Is that something? Is that Derek and Christian? <laughs> they wish. What? <laughs> Sometimes uh, I think I think way too hard about something. Okay. All right. It was perfect. Fifty Shades of Grey. You don't know. Oh, of the Grey? book. Yeah, the movie. Oh, okay. You know. All right. Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's an okay. homage to, to 50 Shades of Grey. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> Harder Daddy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Gary. All right. <laughs> All right. Next. Next. We have um Little House Needleworks. I'm just loosening this up. So Ooh. oh maybe no, I shouldn't. Little House Needleworks. Oh, look at that. You got down to the V. Oh, look at you. I got down to the V. And I'm working on the, you see all these uh, threads? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, wow. I'm working on this other rabbit. And no. I know there's going to be a purple there. Purple going to be around somewhere, like somewhere. So mm -hmm. I just kept the thread. Of course, the grass is going to go further mm -hmm. this way. Right. So I kept green. Uh, the brown, of course, the other rabbit, and then the eye. There's one eye stitch that's brown mm -hmm. Oops, right here. I don't know if you see it. So oh. I kept it. Okay. So I keep, I keep <laughs> if I know I'm going to stitch soon, I mm -hmm. just keep the thread hanging. Mm -hmm. But yes, this rabbit is so cute. It yeah. does look cute. Yes. It look like I like the, the, the animals. They do good mm -hmm. animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. The colors. Are uh, the, yes, the, we're trying to finish that by the end of the year, right? Yes, correct. Now, yeah. at the bottom of that, <clears throat> as you approach W, X, Y, and Z, yes. I sometimes get this one, this series from Little House Needleworks, and then you know the A, the um, ABC the, de la Brodeurs. Yeah. So it has yes. a big uh, motif setting at the bottom does that one have the same thing or you just kind of get it, e and it ends it has um it has a a quilt a, a what for the quilt. A, quilt. It has a quilt a quilt a quilt so okay. it that's the that's the biggest part of that bottom row is the quilt. okay okay all right. So yeah. I'm excited to stitch that. And you don't have a picture handy, right? Do you have the... I do, but on the computer I can show on the oh, no, I can share okay. my screen. That's okay. okay. Yeah. But okay. I don't have it on me. Okay. You know, not prepared. All right. Hold on, let me check. <laughs> yeah, mm -mm, not prepared. Okay. <laughs> All right. My bad. Any more whips? That's it. Okay. Those are the two. All righty. So oh. Gary, let's see what you worked well, on. This actually, week. I only have one whip. Ooh. And, um, I didn't. I didn't work on O feathers last week, and I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to pick O feathers up probably in January. Okay. But, oh, get retiring yeah, a little, bit. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. So I worked on the nativity. Oh. Oh, oh Shelia. <laughs> That's a lot of. <laughs> yeah. And, ah. 
Wow. And I, well, I got to his hand, and then that's his neck right there. So yeah. I was hoping, I was trying to get him him finished so mm -hmm. I could see just him. Mm -hmm. But um. And your placement, I know last week you were a little concerned about your placement. I think the placement's great because it's just that little well, tidbit there. Uh, the way that the sheep... The the, the, land. Oh, Ooh, the, the really angle good. is like really yeah. good i'm like wow that's a lucky lucky yeah. draw <laughs> yeah perfect yeah so, absolutely so perfect I'm, I'm enjoying this this is a 32 count um even weave mm -hmm. from um fabric flare and it's the uh, garon exclusive fabric uh desert night desert night yeah absolutely wonderful right. and um I'm, I'm working with them to help me get some more sand up higher mm -hmm. because the the third one in the series is the on shepherd something the the shepherd one mm -hmm. and they have a a lot of guys like standing and there's a village and standing oh. so it would be all up in the sky yeah so i yeah. need 13 inches of sand, sand. <laughs> you know how to measure it <laughs> you know you know uh, uh, the, the lady at, at fabric was like you need what 13 inches of sand <laughs> <laughs> no, how do you measure that you gotta there, tell me that's either but yeah. there, there went that that measurement you know that that engineer part of yeah. going in there yeah exactly <laughs> pull exactly. out the caliper and everything <laughs> <laughs> so so i think that'll be pretty cool all righty and that's all my whips okay so one of the things that i picked so up i think sheila has carried us in the whip category yeah i was on schedule uh, Stony Creek 2005 sampler. This was, uh, I did a class at one of my stitching retreats. It had to be 2005. Um, what I love about this is all of these specialty stitches down here. And so this one, so this is technically an oldie. Yes. And I'm working on this end of it. I finished all of this flower in here. Uh, I came across and did the vine across the top. And I just have some vine over here left to do. Mm -hmm. Here are you gonna to mimic the other side, right? What year are you gonna stitch in that top? You know, I don't know. I don't know that I'll put 2005, I, although- I, Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I would put the year you finish it yeah 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 so this this completes with this vine there that will complete the whoops sorry the floral we bend it over a little bit there we go the floral portion and then i can start the series of specialty stitches and then it'll there. fly by right because that's really Look pretty fast doesn't it uh it depends on the stitch some of it is looks like black work some Bargello. What's the heart stitch? Is that a heart stitch at the bottom? <laughs> I'm like, that's weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, okay. but it's not going to be easy. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, Shelia doesn't do easy. No, it's probably a wrapped stitch. Oh. Yeah. You should put 2005 to com commemorate when you took the class. Yeah. Why, yeah. why not put 05-2025? That's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's hey, this is my 20 year project. Yes. Yeah. yeah, a lot. A lot. Did you really started in 2005? Yes. Oh, I didn't geez. do a lot. It was only a yeah. teeny weeny little bit. Yeah. And I picked it up. Is it the fabric that, that gave you the first problem with it? I mean, it's no, not really your normal type of fabric, is why I'm looking at no, it. No, it's 2005. It was a kit. Oh, okay. It was a kit because it was a class. So I got the fabric and all the threads. Um, it's a whole variety of different types of threads to go mm. along with it. And you know, yeah, here it is. That's what you're talking. This is how many passes? It's 77 passes or 77. What does that mean? 77 stitches in there. Wrapping, wrapping. Wrapping, yeah. Okay, well. So that'll take So a maybe while. 2035. <laughs> If every block is a, is 77, 77, <laughs> okay, 77. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm working on. Okay. I picked up uh, Madame Lafie. Um, oh, the window. Yes, Neja Montagna. Ooh, it's looking really pretty. Yes, I've been focusing on this window pane here. 
and I filled in trees, uh, almost, I think all of the snow up here is now done. I'm starting to work on the snow down here. And then I, this is, this is, is this it here? Yes, this block right mm -hmm. here, this window pane. Okay. And then I'm gonna go across. So the middle pane has the house and more trees and snow. And then the last pane is just a tree and snow. Yeah. So. And that's a Lugana? This is a 32 count Stormy. Picture this plus. Uh, and you're not doing the words in the story. No, I'm not doing the La Neige yeah. uh, and Montagna across the top. I'm just going to fill in with more snow. Mm. Yeah, because I I don't think you need it. It kind of like looks. No. Really, yeah. the, snowflakes, it, the snowflakes are on top of it. So it's really not much of a fill in. I don't think. Yeah, I, I think it anything. might be an even weave. It looks like an even yeah, weave. Yeah, I think it's an even weave. Yeah. yeah, I didn't write that part down, but yeah. Mm. So that's it. I'm having a lot of fun with this. It is a lot of work. I mean, it really is. Yeah. It's a lot of intense. Well, well, I mean, the the European designers, they use the bulk of DMC and then they mm -hmm. do all this really cool shading, shading, which is a lot of color change, but the, the effect the, is amazing. The net result is amazing. It's like working it. on these trees is just so much fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, I'm enjoying watching it come to life and yeah. I can't wait to work on the the middle pane with the cabin. Well I figured the mittens and the hat would be the fun part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one right there. The bottom. Mm -hmm. Looks really cute. How cute. A Virginia That's stitcher, super cute. the Virginia Stitcher um, did a whip parade a, a couple of weeks ago now I guess. And uh, that's in one of her that's in one of her yeah um and and i we were watching her and she gave us a shout out yeah I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> i'm always shocked just like Wait, so she was in that retreat as well Shelia, in 2005 no no that's madame just found madame oh, madame Lafay. Lafay. Okay. yeah no, no. <laughs> um needles dance oh, oh i love me Dance. which is a collaboration with Ink Circle, Summer House Stitch Works, and Hands-On Design. Okay. Yeah. And I am working, <laughs> I feel- Did you print, did you print an Instagram post? Yes, ma'am, yes, she did. And she backed <laughs> it with glue to a board. So it's, it's glued. It ain't okay. coming apart. Well, you, you don't. Wait, so who, you don't have a, Wait, wait. Who, who got a Black Friday sale on glue? <laughs> who got what? Who got glue on Black Friday sale? Oh, what? <laughs> she stocked up. <laughs> you know why not? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, because it, actually, and I do have the chart. I don't know why I did this. There's a correction. The center start about the center start cart it tells you to count down 66.5 oh so that's so, yeah, so you started in the top you for for the center start, start people they did a correction okay so, i have the so chart. i appreciate that <laughs> i'll find yeah. the chart i'll pull out the chart next time no we know let me know you're good okay but, it, but i like the idea of an instagram post <laughs> <laughs> I printed it because it was an error and then I forgot what it was. I just grabbed it because it had a picture of the finished piece. But and and I bought this at Brick City uh, Needlework Store in Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I filled in here where you see dance uh, and filled completed um, I think one of these edges here, this little little deer, and came down, started down the side. Okay. Yeah. yeah so this was a this was a Nashville class that they mm -hmm. do for shops. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the class, you you you're you're the shop that gets to sell it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward. There's a couple of classes for next year. So yes. Yes. I'm looking see, forward to oh, see I what they have. Do it right. See, I came all. The, I was looking at. I was trying to figure. Didn't I come down further? So I came down further mm. on that side. Yeah. That's so good. that's. That's fun. That fabric is gorgeous with the colors. Absolutely. So in my in my stitchy world, no week is complete without at least one Rosewood Manor. 
So yeah. this week it is because we get into light. Oh, getting clear. Yeah. Um, Seaside Sampler by Rosewood Manor. Oh, look at all the sparkles. Look at that. Look at that sparkles. Yeah, it's an opalescent fabric. Is that the call for, or did you just do that? I did that. I'm pretty sure it's not called for. Yeah, it just it says sand. Yeah. That's a brown linen. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Okay. I like um, it on white. I do too. Um, I worked on these little waves up here. Mm -hmm. Uh, did some more work, I believe, over here. Finished this fish with this coral. And I did, did you some finish the orb. Hmm. Did you finish the orb? It looks like that it's was finished more the last time, yeah. I think. Yeah. She, oh. That was done, but I, I hadn't done I think a you were whole working lot. on the down here, the flag. Yeah, last I did time. some, yeah, I did some fill in on a couple of the flags because I had the color mm -hmm. in my hand. Uh, I, yeah, just some fill in, but most of the work was up here because each one of these waves is four colors. That's really cool. Yeah. And I think I had the just a couple of stitches in on this piece of coral. And this is that tw twin way silks, right? Treen way silks, yeah. yes. On thirty six count opalescent uh, Zweigart. Okay. Yeah. That's really pretty. one over two or two over two. I'm now doing. I am now doing it <laughs> one over two. Okay. So all of these waves and all of this is over one. This is a mix of two and one, and almost all of this is two. Gotcha. So, you know, we are you gonna have enough? Hmm? hmm. Are you gonna have enough silks because of now you have to compensate for the two over two on that side? No, because it was charted for thirty-two count. Two over two. Two over two. Yeah, you're gonna have more. So I, I should be fine. Yeah. Okay. What'd she say? Yeah, 32. Yeah, stitch, two strands lost. Yeah. yeah. I think maybe Actually, that's okay. what I got confused in my own head because mm -hmm. I saw that notation. Yeah. Stitch okay. two strands. Yeah. Yeah. So um I know we talked about next year we're gonna try to do um, a month of a month of designers. Mm -hmm. And I say since March is our birthday mm -hmm. month, mm -hmm. I pick Rosewood Manor for our birthday month. Because it's too. 31 days. So we 31 get days of Rosewood Manor. Yep. I I'm down. So I'm picking March. Yes. And I'm thinking um February for hands-on design. Oh, February, hands-on design. Okay. Because I love it has the heart. Hey, and I get to pick two. Yes, you do. I get to pick October. Yes. Who are you picking for October? I'm thinking, I don't know yet. Hmm. Who is writing them down? Yeah, because so we don't forget. <laughs> well, you don't have to think, you don't have to decide now. Yeah. You can decide later. I have to the yeah. whole video. By the end of the video, we need to. And also, <laughs> also bearing in mind that the challenge with that is that it's October. It's Halloween, which is Gary's most favorite. I know. Here. So I probably want like uh, something floral, like with florals. Yes, lots of flowers. I, yeah. I wonder. I have to think about that. Yeah. I, I do have some Halloween death patterns with flowers on them. <laughs> <laughs> what was it my, um, the one with the Halloween at Hollyberry Farm? It's got all those little white flowers. And black, oh, that's right. Black all the way around there. It's like oh, humongous. Right. Oh, that's right. But go ahead. Next, I picked up uh, Modern Folk Embroidery uh, Zimmerman Coverlet. Is that what's called? The, yeah. the Zimmerman Coverlet. So this is not your black work? No, no. Black work November or whatever. No. This was done in association with um, Ellen. Um, oh, God. Is she our ex wife? Ex yeah, husband? our ex did we get on the did, side. Did we Maximum cross stitch power I hour. Did. I just yeah. completely. Did we get Ellie Blue is here just, on Instagram? On break. I never know. You I said think, what? I think we're on a break. Yeah. Why are we on a break? Now. Or we're on rotation. We're, oh, I like, we're I like oh, to be on the long oh, wheel of rotation. <laughs> there you go. It's a positive. <laughs> <laughs> and look at those colors. Yes. I'm stitching it on uh, 36 count alabaster which is a is that say alabaster yeah, yeah alabaster which is a zweigert 
I'm using silks for you, uh, a combination of different silks for you. Is that really? Can we see which? Can we see the combination of silks for you? Yeah. Really nice fabric. Yeah. Ooh. So this is all the the green that's that you see. Which those are like primary colors. That's yes. Really they, pretty. Yes. Um, the reds I'm using for anything that kind of looks like a berry. Uh huh. Uh, the yellow is going to be anything that looks like a flower. Okay. And the blue is for um, motifs that look decorative. Okay, that makes sense. So looking at this, so... Like the triangles? Yeah, yeah. The er, things that look like stems or, or branches or trunks are green. Yeah. Um, the flowers are going to be yellow, uh, like this, these would be yellow. Yeah. And when I get down and you see, I don't know, somewhere in here, there was something I thought should be blue, could be blue. There's gonna be some blue in there. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the, the, these triangles. The yeah, the triangle, yeah, that's what it is. in the center. The, like these here. Would be. And, so oh, okay. Yeah. How about the hearts? Yeah, you could do blue hearts too. Blue hearts? Do it right there. No, or is that too much blue altogether? Too much blue. I'll yeah. do some red in there. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have to play with it to make yeah. sure it's balanced. Exactly. Go with a plan and then balance it out. That's right. That's right. But I, I'm stitching. You can take colored pencil and, and color it so oh, you can I could. see. I could. But that takes I a, see that. Picture. That that yeah, that takes that's effort. <laughs> <laughs> and she's really good at frogging, so she'll do a little stitch in here. Yes, yeah, so I know I don't want that color there, but yeah, so this is going to be the uh eventual palette. So that's going to be nice and bright. And those are all silks? These are all silks for you, yes. Okay. Uh no, this one is a treeway. Okay. NPI. This is oh, I guess there's all kinds of stuff. NPI, <laughs> ships manor, silks for you. Okay. Yeah. So I must have just opened up the silk bag and pulled yeah, stuff out. Because I'm reading the back of the card and it says she used she's only using PR 146. Yeah. Which, like, that's a lot of color for 146. And, <laughs> Did you cut it? Yeah. <laughs> no. And you know what? There, I didn't even use PR 146. It's not even in <laughs> any in here. So yeah, there's a silks for you, a ship's manor, NPI, and Trinway. But they're all silks. That's but they're nice. all silks, yeah. yeah. But yeah, they're all primary colors. I think it'll be nice and yeah, bright. Very pretty. And very pretty. Did you say one over two, two over two, 36 count? 32 36 count? counts, so, and it's one over two. Yeah, because there's there's some half stitches there, and I can see that it's one thread. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh. And so Thursday and Friday, because I knew I wasn't going to get much done on Thursday, uh, and it turns out not a whole lot done on Friday, uh, I worked on RK Portfolio Martini. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were getting drunk. Yes, Martini. Wow, and that's intense. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a lot of stitching. I didn't think that would be that much stitching. The, oh, you trust me. And I started out the day by taking this border completely out. So. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I got down a little bit working on the reds and the greens. And all of a sudden, it it, did, it wasn't Lining corresponding. Up. Yes. Oh. And I tried to fix it. And it still wasn't right. So I just took the whole thing out and started this Order over. Yeah, remember because one of the olives is one of the olives are off, like yeah, a pair that, of olives. Off. Yeah, exactly. Is that what messed up? No, it was just in the counting coming down. Yeah, the, the the distance between one thread to the next. Yeah, and it's inconsistent because there'll be a a red in the upper left, then there'll be a red in the lower right, and then a red, you know, it, it bounces around where you put the, and I, I didn't. So in this case, it would have been easier to do the blue stitching first, and then do the red stitching from what I'm looking at. I, I don't no, know. No, what actually helped, I did the green stitching first, oh, because green. that was the majority in the red. I know, don't ask me why I decided to do all really? that horrible counting oh, for the red. All that is not blue? No, there's a blue inner, a blue outer, and then inside is red and green. Yeah. I don't see a red or a green. 
Right. Oh, it's it inside of here. It's kind yeah. of hard to see, even on the photo. Yeah. Wow. It's so small. Yeah. It's it's because it's small. Yeah. And this is a well 28 count Lugana. Well, and also it's it's um oh they're like little olives dancing down the corner. There. Almost I see it now. yeah. All right. But the color, the the um the color is almost the same hue. Mm -hmm, so they mm -hmm. kind of blend in. Mm -hmm. That's that's really what it let's see, are we getting it? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Maybe if I squint. Oh, I think I see the red. <laughs> oh, I think I see the green. <laughs> Hit you over the head, girl. <laughs> just, she's just trying to give us a hard time. So I, I didn't get a whole lot of stitchy time yesterday, but I spent a lot of time in stitchy world because I realized I had this corner of a counter um, and all year as I finished projects, I just took the floss, the ring mm -hmm. of floss, and which it, it was like the new plate, the, the new, new paper, paper plate. plate. And it was the size of it was a mountain. Yeah. Mountain. And um so I picked it all up and sorted it all out and put it all away. I mean, imagine the cat. Right. Mine, mine, mine. Now, Joe Robinette is going to be surprised because he says, what happened to my comfy bed? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, we got one more whip. One more whip, yes. Ronnie's whip. And oh. this is birds of... Oh, he's got it on the card for me. Family of Birds. It's from the Stitch Studio. Yes. And we have, we have... He's got two pages done. Yeah, look at... This look is at the, the fat eye. Belly bird. Yeah, the look at back. I and the picture. Look at back a little bit. There you go. He no, he didn't leave it up for me, did he? No, I don't know what bag it's in. I don't think it's that bag. It's a new bag. bag. No, oh. he's 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 putting this one in timeout so he can work on his exchange piece. Do you have the 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 picture? Oh, it's all the way down because he put it in timeout. Oh, it's in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because what's mind. coming up next is. This giant trunk yeah. with all this color again. So he needs a palette cleanser. He's doing such a good job. It's it's really pretty. I mean, you can yeah. see the depth and everything. Oh. Here, it, here it is. Now look, look at that. And he's doing it on the called for fabric. Fabric. Pink, violet. Uh, da, 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 lavender da. something. Lavender mist. Lavender mist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know Ronnie makes us work so hard. <laughs> I know. He's like, I'm not getting it. I'm going to let you, you guys figure out what I yes, did. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> it's a 16 count right. Ada yeah. <laughs> or Aida. <laughs> and uh, what is, if, if it's maybe hard to see, but the eyes, the nose, and the mouth are birds. Mm hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful. They're yeah. birds. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very pretty. Really incredible. And here in the tree, when he gets down in you here, baby you have little baby chicks in the hole of the tree. Ooh, that's some heavy duty stitching right there. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so he's. Yeah. Yeah. He's, really pretty. He's got that intense tree to do. Then he's got two floating birds. And, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I see a finish. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, that was Stitching Studio. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got Glenn, yeah, GP. So, oh, so this is the 27th, although there really is no need for formal uh, calling, but whip go, because everybody knows that the last it's two. It's the last two. Blocks. Blocks. Squares for <laughs> whip go. Mm -hmm. um, and, and mine, um, mine is, um, <laughs> What is it? It's, it's a reindeer feed sack. Yes. From, from um, and it's ten days to change yeah, for ten yeah. days. Yeah. And then the other project of mine has already been. I've already finished it. Oh, okay. So yeah. you just have reindeer feed sack. So in December we'll we'll color it green in December. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, do you happen to know what yours? I have no clue. Okay. All right. I didn't even think about it. Okay. We'll, so we'll but show the Whipco board next week. Okay, so the last two squares for 2021 Whipco 
would technically be announced yeah. this week, but yeah. since well, they're the last two yeah. squares. Yes, she, yeah, she normally does it on the 27th. Okay. Which is today. Today. And uh, so everyone's been getting their WIPCO boards together. Yes, for next so, year. We EJ? had someone ask if uh, EJ would share the template for her Excel uh, WIPCO board. The, the template is on the WIPCO group. Yeah. That's what I use. Yeah. But I'll send it to her. I'll send her the, um, the same Excel spreadsheet that Jesse Marie put out is the yeah. one I use. Yeah, yeah. it's actually just. I just changed the diff. I just changed the color of the um, of the blocks yeah. to fit yeah. the your temperament. Pick your favorite yeah. color. And and did you create a board for Shelia? I heard you were going to create a board for Shelia. Shelia. Are you doing it? Sure, you, you know. need to do it. Well, no, no, you were just going to create it. it. And if she actually worked on something that was called, we'll just color it in. You know. Oh yes, we should do that. Game on the side. Right, little does she know. That's right. That she actually yeah, go. <laughs> yes. And one of the blocks, because you know, she, every year she does uh Christmas ornaments would be the freebie. Yeah, exactly. And if that comes in January, she's got to get working on it. <laughs> so we well, well, need to work on that. Does realize that, that will not happen. So no, no. Yeah. We're still gonna do the side, it's like a side yeah, yeah. Well, it, yeah. Side whip go. Entertain yourselves. <laughs> This means we have to pay attention when she has finishes and whips. <laughs> no more naps. Yes, exactly. exactly. Like what? Oh, you worked on that? <laughs> oh, yeah, Gary. We'll, we'll get together and do her. Board. We have to wait till she shows her whip go parade. Oh, and yes. And then we pick from that. Right. So, um, whip parade, actually. So last year, yes. we had a whip parade. One the, every week. Well, we did. Was that December? Yeah. So are we going to yeah. do that this year? I mean, it's tradition well, I mean, now. We've done it three times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, we need to just sort of sit and figure out what, later which who, which week who will do Can that. I have the last week? <laughs> I may have. Uh, can we figure out, can we figure out what is an actual whip, Gary, before we do a whip parade? Because you think anything that you've bought? No, no, no. If it's okay. in a bag, it's a whip. No. Here's our definition of a whip okay. for the purposes of the whip parade. So we don't have to book hotel rooms. Uh -huh. The definition of a whip is anything that has um, stitches in it. Okay. Can I get that in writing? So in case I forget, I can yes, read it. Here, I got a piece of paper. You're right. Hello, we're you know filming. What? You know what? Great plans have been created on napkins in bars. So this is going to be a great plan. I think a, whip is on a, a project that has any amount of stitches, at least an X or seven half stitches. Oh, yeah. And it's seven half stitches count too, right? Yes. <laughs> there it is. There's the definition. You can't see it because it's written on paper towel. And All right. So I'll, I'll keep that somewhere safe. Yes. There you go. It's like right. sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm with you. Oh my goodness gracious. So <laughs> patience. Just give me patience. Okay. So we've got that out of the way. So we will be doing whip parades. The day that I do my whip parade, we will be I will be filming remotely so I don't have to haul in my yeah. thing. So okay. Um haul. It's haul. time for haul. I was trying to figure out. That's why I kept yeah. looking at that. Okay. EJ, do you have any haul? I know I'm bringing you. I, yes, I got some haul from Garon Stitchery. You'll see it next week. Um, and I think I'm going to go get some more. Because, the, because the Small Business Saturday sale. Yes. And Cyber Monday, Monday sale. And Monday. Just so Black Friday passed. <laughs> and then now I'm supporting through Small Business Saturday and then Cyber Monday. See, mm -hmm. got to support. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. But I did, um, so Long Dog came out with this new pattern called You Belong to Me. It's gorgeous. So I purchased it and I also. <laughs> Let's what? see it. Let's I voted it. it as a drinking game. You belong. Oh, you did? No. This one belongs to me. <laughs> no, we have to decide what it is. We'll do that for January. Every whip is a drinking game. <laughs> So this is um, the long dog, the new one. 
I uh, think that's magnificent. I like the, with the, mm -hmm. the, the graphics. Mm -hmm. Yes. All oh, inside based. of it. Yes. Uh -huh. It's Egyptian based. Mm -hmm. Look at the pharaoh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Plus, they had the Australian one a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love that. Gorgeous. Are you going to do it in like really rich blues? It's got camel. I'm going to do it. Hmm? Is in there color like blue and teal? Blue. Okay. So I did. I did some research, and I, you know, Egyptian and research means Google Egyptian colors. <laughs> That's research. <laughs> and then it said um, yellows, mm -hmm. blues, yellows, blues, reds, greens. In there, like so a seal? purple is for royalty, okay. huh? Is so it's like gonna be like a silks for you, variegated thing okay that i purchased because they also had a sale mm -hmm. Ooh. so and plus you know if you order five you get one free mm -hmm. but with the sale if you order five you get actually two free because of the sale mm -hmm. to the math mm -hmm. um so and then um satsuma street you know folk flowers this is so cute this is so pretty Oh, look, look at, at that. that. That is gorgeous. Wow. It, it reminds me, I don't know, of the 70s. I'm not sure. Yeah. Ronnie I, might I, like I think a change of pace. Yeah. Florals. Ooh, and how how what size do you need? Because I've got some brown banding now. That's, that's right. That, that would look really pretty. On. Yeah. I have no, I didn't even I didn't even read it. This is stitches across. <laughs> Here we go. We're we're down the rabbit hole. I don't know. I know. I know. <laughs> Stitches across. Hold on. Let me. On. My my okay. screen moved around on me yesterday. Uh -oh. Here it is. So get that app out. I know. I it I I just changed something and everything else shifts. So it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So what's the width? Uh the finished is five by twenty. Wait, five by twenty-six, thirty-six, twenty-six. Sorry. Did but they said eight. 13 by 30 piece of fabric is recommended for this project. Sorry, 13 by 30. No, 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 no. No, give no, us no. this number give of stitches. Give us a stitch count. We're oh, number of stitch count. Okay, 49 okay. by 324. And do over two on 27 count, because that's what the banding is. 27. Uh -huh, over two. And I would do zero, so you'd- That's right. So, yeah. So zero. Oh, 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 perfect. It's perfect. 3.6 by 24. Yeah, because and he's got four inch banding. I got, no, it's eight inch. It's 7.8 inch banding and it's got a decorative finish. Oh, so that's perfect. Yeah. That will sit right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And it's long enough too. Yeah. Because like 49 inches. You could do two of them. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll show it to you later, EJ, so you can see. Yeah, it's not a dark color. It's not a gray like that. Yeah, well, this is on chalkboard, black Ada and Wichels. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's dark. Yeah, I was thinking of a, of a, blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty. And then in a white, you could dye. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Autumn oh. by Satsuma Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I want to stitch it for my sister, the one that don't have anything hanging, the one that don't cross stitch, mm -hmm. but as a pillow. Which one she's is that? Do, this is Autumn by Satsuma. Well, what Street. sister is that? The one that don't stitch. This one right here. Oh, because <laughs> I was just looking for the sisters with their finishes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, like, Shirley, my my older, they're both older than me. Because I was like, where's Shirley's finish at? I haven't seen one in a while. Well, she's finishing. She just finished Be a Light. Okay. She just finished it. But uh, this one would be for my, uh, the middle sister, the one that do doesn't stitch mm -hmm. as okay. a pillow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. So I have to find a big enough fabric. I have to make sure I, you know wrap my head around maybe three or four strands of stitching. I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. make it nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm thinking maybe get the all the seasons mm -hmm. for her. Mm -hmm. But that's a year, that's years in the making. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and last but not least, 
last but not least, did I say that? Oh, but I'm thinking about that. That would make a great travel piece because it's blocks of color. Yes, the Antonio. Yes. Yeah. That would make a, a great travel and retreat. Yeah, because you could have it done in nine months, one block a month. Okay. I can, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also bought temperature um, flies by stitching, oh, wow. stitching mommy. Oh, that's going to um, be fun. I love that. And, you yes. know, like the one I liked before was her tree one was really yeah. pretty with the leaves. Yeah. yeah. But that one's yes. really cool. Because yeah. you could break them up and put them in a circle or like any other. You don't have to stitch them in a square like that. You could rearrange them any way you want to, as long as you know what month or you know yeah. monthly order. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun cute. with that. One. I kind of like oh, it. Where? Oh, I like that idea. Like you, you just have little, um, like hoops of different butterflies yeah. after you stitch it, and then you can put it around. Yeah. Oh, that is a cute idea. But that breaks it up. No, that no, breaks no, up. No, because you do it as a, as a wall display and it looks kind of cool because it's. And it will be like a wall display. It breaks it up. I like it. All right. But, uh, it and the butterflies are different. Every single butterfly is different. Different body. It's really See, but cute. I, and the reason I think it breaks it up is because part of the allure of, these, of this series is the change in the colors of as you go through the year. Right, right. But if you have it all displayed on the wall together in individual little hoops, but it looks like they're all flying around. But it breaks up your yeah. eyesight. It breaks, you mm. don't see the flow. Like I've watched several people on floss to do her temperature charts now for right. a couple of years. Yeah. And the, the thing that is so and again, they live in different parts of the country. So everyone's is different. So everyone is, is different, but part of the, especially as they get down to December, is, is the, the changes in the colors mm -hmm. and you know, they hit the summer or the warmer months, it starts to swing back to the cooler. We, we, we do know EJ is gonna have no blue in her butterflies. They're all gonna be well, orange, red, and yellow. They're, well, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, uh, the numbers. Christine, Christine, um, our friend Christine, she did the temperature garden and she changed it to better fit our weather. Okay. So I'm going to email her and ask her what was her, her variations. So, so our coldest blue would be a 60. Yeah. Yeah, we can actually get a. <laughs> It'd be one day or 65 well, so you can get more get blue. A, no, well, it's the high and the low. It's the official weather center high and low for the day yeah and so some of we've had overnight lows in the upper 50s so you would get down to 50s wait do i do my the high the low or the average i don't know she, she changes it for each temperature thing you get to pick oh oh i think the high and the low is kind of most of the folks that i've watched have done the high I know the original ones had high and low together but mm -hmm. then on some of these other ones this just, it's just one maybe just the low because It'd be pretty. To give it more variations yeah. would be the low. Hmm. Well, but even in our summer months, I mean, our low might be, you know, at 90. 40 will be 80, 85 80. degrees. Yeah. 80. <laughs> we go out there and do some moon bathing. <laughs> Fight the mosquitoes and moon bathe. <laughs> but I'll, no, ask, I'll ask Christine. Yeah. Yeah. Hers, yeah. And then very nice. Oh, high. So we get to the middle 90s, you know, 94, 96. We just sit there for yeah. the whole summer. I mean, yeah. We don't yeah. we it doesn't change. Yeah, the 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 difference between the the low and the high in the summer is not that great a range. Yeah. Um so that's why you gotta play with your color. Yeah. What your breakout is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So look so at last year's, about this. So look at last year's highs and lows and and Try to look at historically what yeah. it was, mm -hmm. so you can figure up your next. Christine's was beautiful. A lot of work. Yeah, her her color change, color selection was gorgeous because mm -hmm. hers was beautiful. So maybe that's our oh, new yeah. thing because it's only. But I I like Gary's idea though with the different hoops for each one and just putting it like a wall of butterflies. I think it breaks it up. Yeah. 
So you, you know what you do a stitch a day that's that's your stitch a day for a year is it yeah. one x right is it one x or two x's i don't know whatever the breakout is for the month is it 30 oh, it depends on how big because you see how this is january yeah you see the break like each day is a section oh, so it's like, it be oh. yeah so you could keep up with that really easily next year yeah oh, i'm thinking of doing it like for 30 minutes a day but this is not gonna Take that means well, technically you would have to do some black work butterfly in a couple of weeks so you can keep doing it next year yeah oh so yeah that, that's right <laughs> you know yeah that one yeah that black work butterfly yeah it's still kicking around yeah fresh it metamorphed into something else not yet <laughs> that's it for me okay. that's it for now i have other stuff coming in and when they come in and i'm going to purchase some stuff maybe today i'm not sure <laughs> who knows <laughs> so my haul then, yeah. all right so my haul is kind of light i got some uh i did i showed the snowflakes last mm -hmm. so i found some new fabric with snowflakes on it from fabric flare and it's called uh snow on blue it's a 28 count no, oh, that's cool. Pretty. It's kind of it's not the real detailed snowflakes, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, if you want to do something smaller, it it won't overpower your piece. Yeah, but I love it. It's a thirty, it's a twenty eight count linen. Oh, that's nice. And it's you know because fabric flare it's printed. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. It's really fun to stitch on. Mm -hmm. So I have yeah. a couple of projects for that. And then the dilemma, you know, I used to stitch what I wanted to, mm -hmm. and I pick anything I wanted mm -hmm. but now there's another cross stitcher in the house so mm -hmm. we have to fight over what we want to stitch <laughs> so the new Twin Peaks patterns came out and I'm like oh god I want to stitch it so bad <laughs> and I was like trying to figure out fabric and everything mm -hmm. and then I'm loading him in the computer and, and Ronnie's like I'm gonna stitch that <laughs> okay I'm gonna stitch both of them <laughs> so it's the new primitive it's the new Twin Peaks primitive Christmas patterns a patriotic Christmas. Oh, look at that. Isn't it pretty? Are you going to do a skin tone change, Ronnie? I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this oh. is the one. This is the this is Christmas morning at Santa's kitchen. Look at that. And there's a little elf under the table, a little <laughs> gingerbread house. I mean, it's really nice because it's nice blocks of colors compared, yeah. to, compared to the after tree. break after <laughs> that one. Yes. And Santa's beard. Is and, that a is that a Santa and a, two Santas? No, no, it's no, a Mrs. It's a, Claus. Both of them are, are yeah. Santa and Mrs. Claus. Yeah. So the oh. Santa's beard and Mama's hair are French knots. Oh. Julia, I have to finish me. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's got that dimensional look yes, to it. It's yes. really cute. But I love the... There's a couple of over dyed flosses that'll give you that look in the fireplace, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's all just blocks of color. Mm -hmm. So, so it's like Mrs. Santa is either repairing or sewing on a flag. Yeah. So that's the yeah. patriotic Christmas. Yeah. So um, technically, nice. that's Ronnie's haul, not mine. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> so I had fabric and okay. then he got charts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have haul. Um, I've been taking advantage of the Gara stitchery sale and what I just brought out one to show. I bought two of the treasure boxes. Oh, I was looking like, what is that? The little circle there. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the little mm. treasure boxes. So what's nice is you can, you can, you take it out and mm -hmm. you can pop in a new stitching mm -hmm. per month. Mm -hmm. If you did a series mm -hmm. or something like well, that. Well, this will be a gift, oh, another gift. Good. Yeah. So I bought two of those, which is very nice. And, and, you know, the one thing I don't need is, you know, of course what I bought, like I bought glue at Joanne's yesterday and I don't, I don't need any more glue. Always need glue. But I always buy glue. I always need adhesive. Oh, do I have to take this out? I'll open it for you. Okay. I literally just picked it up. Could have taken it out of the bag earlier. Yeah. But, crinkle, crinkle. Yeah, this one is, might be a little hard to see because it's it's 
it's got watermark it's like a, it's the newspaper yeah See, it's got the watermarks on there and this is a 20, 32 count vintage newsprint by fabric flare yeah. is it are you getting any of that oh, yeah, yeah you can see it oh yeah. look at yeah. the top there you see that watermark on yeah. the top there you have something planned for it Shelia? no gotcha because i'm trying to do it like a rolodex of your pattern I, okay i saw someone stitch wilbur on this who's wilbur wilbur the pig from uh Teresa Kogut. oh and it was kind of cute yeah and um a oh, nice because little pattern would look good on this. I think so. Yeah. Like, yeah. A, like a, a solid black witch silhouette yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, any other silhouette pattern would be yeah. cool. Yeah. And then I bought some 40 count Aspen Ooh. Weeks Dye Works. It's a pretty one. It's a pretty color. I've always admired this color. Is that like a greeny? It's, it's a, a green brown. Yes. Tan. Yeah it's it's not too much green mm. yeah i think blackbird used it in their little berry their berry book oh, okay. i think they used it in that yeah it looks familiar so uh, those are my two purchases i <laughs> we were laughing about my glue purchase yesterday but joanne's black friday sale i've been kidding the um cookie uh exchange uh, sponsored by hands-on design mm -hmm. and i have literally hundreds of skeins of dmc and didn't have two of the colors i mean it's always the case i i mean literally i mean how could i not have yeah. it's probably kitted in something else but i have spares i mean it's like <laughs> yeah and, and the same thing happened with ronnie this week when he kitted up his next his little mini project that he can't show because it's for the exchange. Yeah. And there were two colors. Yeah. Two colors. Yeah. So I decided to go early, first thing Friday morning, early to Joanne's, which I was there at nine o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I was early. And that was all I was going to get was just two skeins of each of those two colors. Yeah. I didn't even take a basket when I went, nor did I get hey, a little. Hey, it, it's thing. five for 20 cents, five for $2. two dollars. Both their um, DMC and their um, anchor anchor were on wow. sale five for two dollars. Is it still on sale? I need to go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably but it. it so there was that, and then I have a thing about notions, and it's it's because it's the it's the little stuff. I don't know why. So I wandered over to the notions wall and <laughs> yeah, fell down that rabbit hole. It was yeah, it was sad. She was seeing me trying to get to the checkout, trying to hold all this stuff. Oh, no. You know what I do? I always go to the section where they have baskets. <laughs> they don't have any baskets at Joanne's. They got shopping carts. Yeah. So, you know, well, we so, got, um, the one that we go to has baskets. Well, they have them somewhere in mine. Yeah. So I always up. go over to the area, the seasonal area, where they have like a basket with some seasonal thing. And I just put all my floss in there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't want that basket. <laughs> Sometimes I buy the basket. This the last time I bought the basket. Because <laughs> oh, it was no, on 60, they the, it was 60% off. Oh, like, oh, I, I oh you're talking about real baskets. No, I'm talking about yeah. hand carried um baskets. You know, you know I mean I got a little desk. wooden, little wooden box. Oh, okay. That says like, something seasonal. Yeah. <laughs> and while I'm carrying it around with it, you know. Oh, it. All right. So announcements. Ooh, EJ. Announcements. We have a huge announcements. Shelia. <laughs> Talk about punting. I'm telling you, wow. So um, in October, <laughs> I can't believe it's already like the end of November, but in October, we reached our three year anniversary. Yay. And uh, of course, we want to do a giveaway. And of course, we weren't ready because why think about this ahead of time? Let's let the anniversary occur and they go, oh yeah, we need to do a giveaway. And so we've been working and pulling things together since then. And so on December the 4th, uh, which will be episode 164, we will announce our giveaway, mm -hmm. tell, give you all the items, give you the code word for each item, and it'll be a big giveaway. 
I think we're up to 16 items. So it's going to be huge. There should be 16, 15, 16 code codes. Words. And you will need to have um, pencil and piece of paper handy. And when we start or that. Or figure out the rewind button. On yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, and that will be live for uh, two weeks. You'd have to comment on that particular episode <laughs> once before. And we will announce on the winners on December 18th. I'm not even gonna to try to give you the episode number for there because that requires math math, and it'd be too confusing. So, so December the 4th, episode 164, uh, giveaway announcement. I think there are 16, 15, 16 items. So <laughs> it'll be a good one folks. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okie dokie. And any other plans? I have, I have uh, a, announcements. I have an announcement. We haven't gotten the plans yet. I know. I've, she checked it off, but we I didn't checked do it. off because we did the big announcement. Yeah. So, announcement got Ron is uh, this is the uh, sale weekend. Yeah. So, we have lots of great things. We normally don't do sales. Yeah. So, bags are on sale, state bags on sale. Yeah. Once this, if you don't see your state bag, they're already gone. Yeah. We're done with the state bags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've been fun, they were real. <laughs> And uh, the biggest thing is uh, December the 11th mm -hmm. will be our next bag sale. The last, the last bag sale of the year. Oh, okay. December the 11th. Will be new bags will be Christmas bags, lots of good Christmas patterns and Ronnie's um, cookie time bag, mm -hmm. which is the one I'm going to be using to stitch, to put my hands on design, mm -hmm. cookie mm -hmm. pattern stuff mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm which there it was in the last sale so it'll be it was like 18 16 of them mm -hmm. it's quite a bit you're yeah. gonna have more of them yeah okay i don't have one. Oh, you don't have one i didn't get one yeah <laughs> i'm the shoemaker's son <laughs> one didn't fall off the truck <laughs> but but it'll be fun yeah um there's not going to be a bag uh, in bag Saturday sale in January. Okay. Because there's a little pre-announcement, we will be running, we'll start working on the bags for their Christmas box. Oh. That will be sometime in the summer. Okay. When we get closer, we'll give the date. Okay. All right. So are you going to do bag sale every other month? What's this? That's all oh, the Nutcracker bag. Oh, the Nutcracker sale. For, for the Nutcracker Village. Mm -hmm. um, which we are expecting it to come in any day. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of pre-orders mm -hmm. and then we have a couple of extra ones for people who want to pick and choose what mm -hmm. one they want. Cause mm -hmm. it's an 11 part series. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you like the first one yeah. or the second one. Yeah. So we'll have some and we got some of these. Okay. We have plenty of that. Okay. All righty. Cause it's, it's one of my, one of our favorite Christmas colors. You know, I know. The, the tealy blue. Yes, exactly. I love the, that bag, the characters on that bag. All right, so that the end of your announcements? That's the end of my announcements. Okie dokie. Plans. EJ, what are your plans for this week? This week, I don't know. I want to finish um, Little House Needlework Spring ABCs. Mm -hmm. That I'm focusing on finishing that. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, Mother Moon. <laughs> <laughs> So that's code word for a harder daddy. Because that's <laughs> uh, a gluteal, what is it? The gluteal fold? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mother Moon's yeah. other side. Yeah. The dark side, the dark of, the moon. side of the moon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to prepare myself for next year. Yes. I haven't done that. And you're yeah. out all your whips. So would it be the whips you okay? So see, thank you. Whip thank question: you. Is it the whips you stitched on this last year, or whips you had forever in a day? It could. It should include anything that you have that you have ever stitched on and have not completed. Okay. Oh, I just <laughs> not condense it to what was worked on this. Because what I well, usually have whips that that go beyond this year. Remember, we did no new start. So we've had so, a set so I, list of okay. whips for this year, right. but- So, so I, then I, I may have to go to the storage unit to pull out my other- Yeah, yeah, gonna have to- Boxes of empty, whips. Empty out the car and 
Take a okay. drive. I have them off, you know. They rent a U-Haul. Rent a U-Haul. Okay. Yeah. All right. So and you guys better get in a comfy seat when I do mine. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. So uh, what are the two hundred pieces? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so ready for my plans? Yes. I got my iPad out. Oh, we got to spin. Yeah. So what Wait I? Wait a minute, EJ. Were you done with your plans? Yeah. Okay. Really? I mean, I thought you were. I, I, I just wanted to. Know. I was for real. Oh, okay. I, okay. I have no plan. That's the plan. <laughs> I mean, you stopped at Harder Daddy. I figured that was the end of it. Well, no. And, and continue. <laughs> Remember, she's doing No New Starts 2022. So she's thinking about what she wants to stitch and next she, year. And, and really, she should be stitching on December 1st one of those WIPCO items. That's yeah. I do. <laughs> I need to stitch on those whip go items. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> anyway, I don't know whatever oh, board that is still white should be stitched on in December. I stopped coloring it. <laughs> okay. I gotta, gotta go back. <laughs> All right. So what I did on Thanksgiving Day, I pulled, I put away all my Halloween whips. And I pulled out all of my Christmas whips. Oh my God. And I made a Christmas wheel. How many is that? That's a pretty 25. 25. Okay. There's 25 Christmas whips for a guy oh, who's nice. Halloween stitching. All right. So I'm going to do the 25 days of Christmas stitching. Oh, all right. So I'm going to be spinning every day. Okay. Starting December 1st, but I'm going to spend now to see what I'm going to start stitching on December 1st. Okay. So. Wish me oh, okay. In two days. Please pick something. I gotta talk to it. Is uh reindeer seed fat seed sack in there? Yes. There it is. Oh, the other way to make it bigger. No, no, it won't go in. No, nope, the other way. Turn it the other way. Oh, oh crap, it's really big. All right. Come on, give me something good, something Halloween. Halloween. Reindeer seed sack. Reindeer seed sack. Secret Santa. Secret Santa. Secret Santa. Oh, hands-on design. I was going to say, isn't that hands-on hey, design? Look at it. I tied it into this fabric. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah, Secret so Santa. Oh. First will be Secret Santa. All Ooh, right. And her, and her that what you did? pattern starts so drops that day, too. Yeah. So I think I'll stitch a couple of hours on that. Okay. So um, for the rest of this month, I'm going to be stitching on the nativity. Okay. And then I'll start December. Okay. Either I'm, I might start such a couple of hours mm -hmm. on what I spend for that day. Mm -hmm. And then I might still pull up the nativity. Depends mm -hmm. on what's calling me. Mm -hmm. But I will mm -hmm. definitely stitch on every one of these things. Oh, okay. So, so my whip thing should look pretty cool. Okay. Um, Question. The Secret yeah. Santa is what Shelia did for her ornaments? Yeah, yes. it's the hands-on design. And I have one of them. So is, it, is it one? Call Secret Santa, or is the series called Secret Santa? Called and you have to pick. Well, so, so you're picking so, one of the. Wait, wait, wait. So there are eight charts, and each uh -huh. of the eight charts has a piece so there's nine of a charts. ninth chart, mm -hmm. which is the Secret yeah. Santa. Yeah. But which chart is he? Which chart are you going to work on? Which specific chart? Whatever chart exactly. I have. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't, I remember. I know Shelia put him in order by the number, whatever the first number is. Yeah, that's. She put him in order for me. So yeah, it starts this one first. Yeah, <laughs> you know how the designers number each chart? I just did them in number order. So do you have each in, individual of them in the pie? Nope, circle? nope. I just got the oh. group. This is all on one piece of fabric. Gotcha. And okay. all in one bag. I didn't want to have multiple, it got too complicated. Yeah. So. Trust me, <laughs> you get overwhelmed, but they're fun. Yeah, they're 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 not. Because um... if I stitch on it for a day, I could probably get one, finish the one I'm doing, and maybe start the next one. So that way, it's not like yeah, possibly. I they're I mean, well, they're ornaments, so they're not big, but there's a lot of stitching in yeah. them. Because I'm thinking the one that I have started, I've got all of the red done. Mm -hmm. I think I got the Santa done, mm -hmm. so I'll mm -hmm. be doing the little okay. bits around. So that's okay. why I think okay. that He's I could get one doable. finished and then the next one started. Okay, okay, is that it? Yeah, that's, that's oh. enough plans for me. That's more than I normally do. Okay, well, I <laughs> um, believe it or not, I don't really have any plans for this week because I had my two days that I had left open. Uh, but I have Margarita, oh. the 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 the. 
sister chart to martini. I have margarita, which I'll work on today. Mm -hmm. I will pick up Jolly Joy Jingle. For Sunday. For Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then Monday and Tuesday are my open days. And I may go back to If Pumpkins Could Fly. Because that, I, be that could finish. be a finish. Yes. Pumpkins Could Fly. What about your French kitchen? No, there's still quite a bit left on okay. that. So I did stretch the wheel a little bit because I put my French country kitchen series in that mm -hmm. because Christmas is a food holiday too. So I'm like cooking holiday. Boy, like, what a I can see that as a Christmas thing. I needed 25. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it made me think of food. So yeah. It made me think of Christmas. <laughs> 25 you don't have 25 christmas no. well i did put nativity in there i could have put nativity but i yeah i i just want to keep doing him every day yeah yeah so he's going to be in every day okay and i might add either another day on my lieutenant de printemps he's my done little too. spring elf yes uh so i might do him and maybe go back to grandma button box, finish that little button, and maybe so I could finish across the bottom of the word buttons. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and then that top piece will be done. Ooh, okay. that's a lot of stitching. The well, the box, button, all the blue, the, the dark blue on the bottom is a lot. Well, it's not a lot of stitches. No. Letter. It's just the, the, the bottom part of the word button. Yeah, yeah, the bottom part of the B, the bottom part mm -hmm. of the U. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. see. I mean, I could see two finishes this week, though. If yeah. Pumpkins could fly and the Lutan one. Yeah. Would and be then simple maybe, finishes. And, and then whatever I have, fill in uh, maybe some more time with mm -hmm. the button box. Okay. Um, and then I haven't thought about December yet. Me neither. Because oh, December 12th is the last day of no new starts. So it's just a question. <laughs> it's just a, we will have succeeded. Oh, oh, that reminds me too. That means you guys could start your um, the Halloween mini mystery box, Frank and Stitches. Yeah. Starting the 13th. Because on the 17th, <laughs> the 17th, I'm not taking any more names for my drawing. Because on the 20th, I'll be doing my eight drawings. I know. For a $20 gift certificate from Garon. Yeah, that wasn't on my start list, though. Sorry. I don't want to bust your bubble, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll finish the other Garon exclusive pattern. Yeah. There's see, so many I'm, of them out there. I know. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next yes. year's. The Christmas one is going to be the bomb. Okay. <laughs> if pumpkins could fly, uh, Lutin de Printemps, uh -huh. and Grandma's Button Box. Those are my three focus pieces for over the for over those two days because I'm not sure pumpkins could fly will take me a whole day to finish it's not know, a whole it's like day. A half day yeah you have done by lunch yeah so so those 12 days of December I will I don't know I think I might just go for my I don't know if I can do favorites because it's hard for me to pick a favorite per se um but but definitely I think it'd be cool you know, like like what you just did now with Pumpkins Could Fly and Lutan. Mm -hmm. If you look at all your whips that you're going to be talking about during your whip parade, if you mm -hmm. pull out the ones that are like close oh. to being finished and work on those in December. Yeah, I'll take a look. Kind of and end see. of the year with a couple of finishes. Yeah, um, I'll see. Uh, I don't think any of them are close to being finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think all of them have a well, ways to go. Yeah, they're they're all pretty big pieces yeah. now. Anything that was of a smaller, medium, well, a lot of them are medium, but I don't think those are the the lutein, the mm -hmm. pumpkins that fly, and the grandma but are the ones that are closest to oh, the finish. Three closest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so those are our plans. And, right. and so next week we'll talk about our December plans. Yes. Also talk about the dates for our whip parades. Mm -hmm. And we'll also kick off our three-year anniversary giveaway wow it's, gonna be a, long it's a busy week next yeah. week so yeah. it's going to require some focus people focus girl <laughs> <laughs> i'll try my best all right okay i think we're done i think we've said it all and don't forget 
No, no matter, matter where you are, are the sun is always shining when you're stitching. Bye. 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 Bye.